we can also uh, separate these into individual buttons. So, for example, instead of centering this menu, well, we can continue to center the menu like this, but what we'll do is, no, we'll get rid of that button centering, the menu centering. And now what we'll do then is we'll get rid of the overall menu height and width for the moment, anyway. But we're going to add a typical menu item margins. So we're going to have a typical item margin. And then I think what we'll do, well, let's start off with that. And we're just going to give each of those buttons a left margin. Or we could give each a, well, we could give each a left and a right margin also. That might be too big a margin for this to work. Let's see. Okay, there we go. So by giving ourselves margins, what we've done is we've, you know, given ourselves essentially buttons here. So that's something else that you can do. And we can center it one or two ways. We can either just add margin to this so that it goes a little further over, or we can do that width thing. I think what we'll do is we'll do the width thing. So overall menu styles, we'll set, we'll do menu margin and menu width. Hit save. Come back to this and we'll see what we've got. So we are about 902 plus our 10, so say 912. Let's just call it 915. So we'll say that our overall menu width is 915 pixels. And then our overall margins we're going to set to auto. Go back over here and refresh this. And, you know, it pretty much looks like it's been centered in the space. Let's look at it in Firefox where we can... Okay. So if we look at our header, yeah, you know, it looks like it's pretty well centered in the available space. So we accomplish what we wanted to accomplish. Then all we have to do is turn off that layout guide again, so we don't have to see it. Refresh it. Isn't that layout guide cool?